So, my people, they say that even those who have not been talking for a while, they are not ignorant, neither do they not know what is happening in the palace. And that is exactly what Oluri Elizabeth is telling us right now. That despite the fact that she has not been talking, she has not been coming out to say a lot of things, it doesn't mean that she doesn't know what she's up to. She knows exactly what she is up to. And right now, she is trying to tell the whole world, she's trying to tell everybody that every single thing these women have been doing in the palace is just too scary for her liking remember elizabeth elizabeth olori naomi's friend who came into the palace just after naomi had left the palace to become um a new additional wife that they only had brought into the palace right now she has been so so quiet over every single thing that has been happening in the palace and if you want to talk about people who are very respectful people who are who are very very diligent to their cause and people who have tried every single thing to 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 to, 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 to you know be be diligent in their service then you would mention elizabeth elizabeth is someone who have not compromised at any point at all she's the same person who rejected ivf simply because what she wanted whatsoever it is that would happen between her and the only should be natural she doesn't want any artificial means bringing forth their children or any single thing and today Oluri Elizabeth has come out to call her fellow Oluris in the palace, telling them that this show of character is beginning to be very, very annoying and they should stop it. So in essence, who is she talking to exactly? All the people who have been coming out lately to drag Oluri Naomi, all the people who feel whatsoever Naomi is doing is wrong, all the people who have one reason or the other, to find whatsoever is happening with Olori Naomi so, so inconvenient. Olori Elizabeth is, is, you know, out to tell them that you people are not okay. Now, Elizabeth is beginning to elaborate some facts. She's saying that nobody is a saint in that palace. Neither is anybody above mistakes. But the way these women tend to scrutinize other people's errors, um, elaborating it and bringing out issues out of it then they tend to expect people to bury whatsoever they do is the most annoying thing she have seen in recent times yes if ronke does something today she expect people not to talk about it the issue should just slide like that and you know it should go and nothing should be done about it if miriam does anything today she doesn't want people to talk about it it should just go like that but whatsoever happens around Olori naomi they would want to talk about it they want to exaggerate it they want to pick an issue out of it even when it is a thing of joy or something that is worth celebrating so at this point she's beginning to call them hypocrites yes she has called them hypocrites and she's telling all of them to their faces that whatsoever they are doing there is an end to it and speaking this to someone she's telling toby phillips that that your no matter what you feel you are doing now it will end your glory will shine just for a while because it is not meant to be on you the spotlight is not meant to be on you so it will definitely go down Hmm. This is so much coming from Elizabeth who have not spoken in a very, very long time concerning all of this palace palaver. Yes, this woman has respected herself. She has tried every single thing. She has done all that she can do in order to maintain her cool on this matter. But right now, these women have dragged her. I should say one of the things that is beginning to be so annoying to her, if Olori Naomi achieves a new title, they are dragging her. If Olori Naomi expands her business, they are dragging her. If she goes for a wedding, they are dragging her. If you only propose a vacation, they are dragging her. But nobody dragged Toby Phillips when only took her on vacation to paris yes nobody dragged that woman she enjoyed her vacation she did her thing she lived her life and she came back to ife and you know nobody dragged her toby continued living her life the way she wanted until the point where she decided that the only was not romantic enough he was not being there for her so she needed something more that she chose to leave the palace since toby left the palace and came back into the palace it has been one wall upon another yes it has been one problem upon another toby came back as a total different person altogether remember when she reached out to all the oloris in the palace when they were doing their protest what did she tell 
tell them that if they give up and then fuck up, yes, they should keep on fighting until they get that which it is that they want. And all of these things tells that what Toby Phillips has violence inside of her, but she only chose to keep quiet all of those times she was seeking attention and she was trying to do all of those good wife vibes. So right now, Elizabeth is not happy. And if you don't want to understand Elizabeth, if you want to look into Elizabeth, very critical. You understand that Elizabeth is someone who loves minding her issues. She's someone who loves respecting her space. Anything called Elizabeth's space is what she respects so much. She doesn't like it when um, things are happening upside down or they're out of context or all of a sudden everybody is beginning to to be too involving and she doesn't like all of those things they are not things she appreciates and then right now right now these women have done a lot down to a point that elizabeth is coming out to talk on this matter that's to show you that what they have really really done a lot how can you be doing things you will not want people to talk about them but another person's success becomes your issues of discussion and at the point of you discussing you are dragging them and making a false accusations out of it when naomi won in singapore when she won an award in singapore this woman said it's a lie she bought the award she what has she done to even achieve such a height that she will be given an award as far as Singapore. And then, you know, everybody was like, wait, is this the highest level of jealousy or what exactly? When she came back and then she was honored by the, the president's wife, giving her special advisor on spiritual matters uh, concerning the nation. Everybody was like, okay, you push you now, go ahead and still call her a liar. As she has been honored by the president and his wife right now. So go ahead. At that point, they did not drag her because they know they will not be dragging on her. They will be dragging the president and his wife. So right now, what Elizabeth is saying is very, very valid. These women are, are creating a whole lot of nuisance. And the nuisance they are beginning to portray is gradually beginning to be out of hand. We have always known all these women do is out of hand. Yes, we have always known that. That is out of hand. But for a singular fact that the only does not really, really love talking about these things, neither does he love being involved on the forefront of it, is one thing we are trying to understand. This is his palace. This is a place he ought to control. This is a place he ought to be in charge. But at most times he gives things a deaf ear. At most times he seems, he seems to ignore all of these things. So we are waiting to understand all of these things. But right now, Olivia Lisbeth have said her mind and she said that whosoever doesn't find it convenient she just come out and say whatsoever the person wants to say last last that is all you can do hmm it is not everybody that is only with naomi that keeps quiet to every single thing in the palace yes certainly it is not everybody that is only with naomi